As the winter storm approaches, drivers are bracing for several impacts over the coming days, from the rain and snow to the dangerous wind and cold. Now, for more on preparations underway across the tri-state, let's join Eyewitness News meteorologist Cody Bailey, who's live now with more. Cody? Shelly, yeah, as Wayne just mentioned, this one winter storm bringing a range of impacts from the rain and flash freezing potential tomorrow afternoon. And that's followed by the snow, which will be blowing and drifting at times, causing that reduced visibility. And then, of course, the extreme cold and dangerously cold wind chill factors that we'll be dealing with. On top of all of that, this danger moves in as many drivers are on the roadways trying to reach their holiday destination, creating a compounded concern. This is going to be a rare multi-hazard event. Winter storms are a common occurrence in the tri-state, but this time around, things are a little different. Precipitation, wind, and cold temperatures will create issues long after the snow ends. As Tim Troutman with Henderson County Emergency Management says, it's time to hunker down. All the moisture from the rain earlier in the day and the snow that could be occurring is, is likely going to freeze on all surfaces, which will create very slick road conditions tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, and even into Friday, of course. I don't think the snow will create a lot of issues, but the temperatures may. Treacherous road conditions are bad enough, but increased traffic due to holiday travel has Indiana State Police Sergeant Todd Ringel concerned. In addition to winterizing your vehicle with winter tires, new wipers, and wiper fluid, winter apparel is a must. A lot of people don't really wear proper clothing during winter months. They, they may grab a lightweight jacket, they get in their car, they turn on the heat, and they go. But they don't prepare for those events where they break down, they have a flat tire, they have to get out of the car and walk to go get help, and they're not prepared. Outside of dangerous wind chill values, gusty winds could lead to possible power outages as well, adding just another layer to an already crowded list of winter impacts. If we do have a power outage and you have a generator, make sure that generator is about 20 feet or more away from uh, your home so that some of that carbon monoxide doesn't get into your home. For travelers, Troutman suggests waiting until after the storm is passed. Well, if you have a way to uh, delay those travel plans for just a few days, it would be so much easier on your ability to get to where you want to be. And right now, Henderson County Emergency Management tells us that there are two shelters that are available and actually open right now. They will be through the duration of the storm. The first at the Harbor House in Henderson, that is for men. The second location at the Father Bradley facility, that is for women and children. And while I was inside emergency management offices today, they received a donation from the Columbia Sports uh, Distribution Center uh, as they will be distributing warm winter gear to individuals and families in those shelters through the duration of of this storm. Reporting in Henderson, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.